So welcome back to another video. Uh, tonight we're out doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be out, I'm out with Jay tonight from Smash Fishing. Oi, oi. We've got some crab wheels with us. We're gonna be after some spider crabs and maybe a lobster, possibly if we're lucky. I've got one rod with me as well. I'm just gonna throw out some small hooks and see if we can catch a bream or a scad or anything, uh, anything at all. I've not been up the lighthouse in a very long time. So it'll be interesting tonight. We got a bit of a, a strong wind, so I'll try and keep the, the camera nice and sheltered. Jay's got some uh, carcasses over there that he got from uh, recent boat trips. So we got nice stinky bait to go in the in the traps. We'll be throwing them out, leaving them soaked for 15, 20 minutes and see if we can find some crabs. So these are the crab wheels. Jay was kind enough to make these and, uh, and give me a couple. If I can just get them untangled, there we go. So there's one of them there. And there's the other one, as you can see, long rope attached to there, threw that out, and that wheel sits on the bottom, weighted down by a couple of, or some lead there. You put the bait just through this little needle here, and hopefully the spiders walk straight into it. Check that out for a nice bit of bait. What was that, a six pounder? Yeah, about that, yeah, yeah. something like that. Nice pollock head there. So I'm just gonna stab that straight through the eye like that and then bend that round there we go hot ready for action So I've got with me here a lovely manky squid that's been in my freezer for about six months. It's still pretty frozen. But whilst we're waiting for those pots and the pots are soaking, I'm just gonna put on some little strips of squid. Just gonna cut some little slithers and hopefully we can find a bream or something like that. Or as darkness comes, anything can show up really. I'm only using little hooks so little size four hooks. So it'll be smaller species really that we're after. Just something that's a little added extra. So rig I'm using is just a one up one down rig, size four hooks, a few beads there, a bait stopper on there in just little strips of squid like that. I'm just going to thread those on. I'll leave a little bit hanging off the side, uh, off the end, just flapping about. And that's all there is to it. I've not been up here in a very long time, so God knows what the fishing's been like here recently. It should start to pick up. Coming into summer, you can get all sorts off here. I always throw up a few surprises. But you'll also get those sessions where you don't catch anything at all. We got a spider. <laughs> I 
The old Pollock head. <laughs> that's that's in size, eh? Yeah, it's definitely yeah. in size. He's just lost his paws. <coughs> oh yeah, I didn't even notice that. Stubby. Oh yeah, there we go. First spider, all tangled up. There we go. That is a decent size, that. Unfortunately, no claws. So that's a bit of a shame, but we'll get that one back. So Jay's had one keeper spider crab so far. I had what would have been a keeper, but unfortunately it didn't have any claws. Now uh, it's really, really windy up here. And I'll just apologize if there's a mark on the lens. The uh, wind blew my camera over and the screen's cracks on it, which is pretty frustrating. I had a small crack in it anyway, but it seems to have got worse. So if there's a little mark on there, that's why. I'll get that sorted as soon as possible. But we're coming up to sort of sunset now. Um, won't be too long away. And hopefully in the dark, we might get a, get a fish on the rod. I'm about to throw it back out again now. So yeah, we'll see what else we can find. Well, nothing in that one. I'm gonna go to the other side and check the other. Empty again. Well, we have our first keeper. This one actually has claws on it. Come on, let go, mate. Oh. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at the size of the barnacles on that thing. Absolutely huge. But nice size crab that. And that's definitely a keeper. Beautiful. Pretty sure that's a male. Got to double check. But there we go. First keeper of the night. So there we go. First keeper spider of the night. Happy days. Get this, uh, get this wheel baited, baited up again. Get it back in there. Come on. There we go. Jay's got a couple of crabs in there. I'm going to chuck mine on top. Bucket full of fish. Play. Happy days. Yeah. Well, there's the first fish of the evening. The dreaded little whip, which has absolutely nailed that, as always. So we'll get him unhooked and get him back. Next one. <laughs> Empty. Empty. Well, that's no good. <laughs> well, you said we'll have four between us, so yeah. four's on you. Yeah, um, yeah, I might be a little bit wrong on that one. That's not chewed, right? <laughs> that's been well chewed. Well, Jay's just had a Goliath crab. You can see the size of that. That's my hand. That body is bigger than my hand. That is a fat, fat crab. Absolutely dwarfs the others. Nice. Well, here we are, another dreaded little whip, which once again has inhaled the, the hook. I'll get that sorted out and get him back. And off you go. Get that one out. That's a wheel hook. That is a beast, yeah. Good size. Yeah, that alone's a keeper. Yeah. That's a nice beast. one. Crab <laughs> Another beast, eh? There we go. Chase just had a couple of beauties there.
going back. Jay's got one more to pull. That's going to be it for this evening. I was down to one wheel. <laughs> Unfortunately lost one. But uh, yeah, it's been good fun. Let's get this one back. And we'll see what Jay's got. Probably see me. Smash. So here's a few of the, uh, the best ones tonight. Jay's absolute mammoth here. We're going to weigh that when we get back to my car. Now, what we're going to do, Jay's kindly enough given me his other uh, bigger one there. And we're going to take two each. So I'm going to put this one here back. This is the one I got before with the big barnacles on it. So off that goes. We'll be having a feast. So that's going to do it for this evening. We've got a couple of crabs between us. Jay's had an absolute mammoth of one. We're going to weigh that when we get back to my car and uh, see how much that weighs. But I'm going to cook one of these crabs up. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, I'll probably do it tomorrow afternoon after work. So I'll add that to this video. So I'll see you in the kitchen then. So it's a day or two later. I've got my spider crab. It's all nice and cooked up and I'm about to prepare a little something for lunch. Now, uh, we had two spider crabs each the other night, um, so a big thanks to, to, uh, to Jay. He had two big ones. Um, the, the biggest one he had that night, we weighed when we got back to my car, and it was five and a half pound. So a really nice sized spider crab. Um, he also had another one, which was probably about three and a half, four, which he kindly gave to me. Um, so we had two each. Now, I've been working tons lately, um, so I haven't had time to film other bits i did however take the two crabs i had to work yesterday i boiled them up and uh, i picked them last night i had one one last night with my girlfriend and i've just made a little bit of a crab mix which uh, i'm going to prepare something something today now like i said i've been working loads so i just wanted to to do something something just little so i'm going to have a nice fresh crab and avocado toasty um really really simple obviously but uh what a glorious day to enjoy it out on the rocks so let's get to it quite literally all there is to this i've got some nice granary bread here and i've also got bit of avocado and in here I've got my crab mix now this is just a little bit of the spider crab I had left over um, and it's just a little bit of salt and pepper a tiny bit of mayonnaise some fresh parsley and a bit of lemon juice in there and I've got some good old Guernsey butter now like I said I just thought it'd be nice to just film a little something and with it being such a nice day Great to get out on the rocks. Oh, we've got that sliding everywhere. Now I've even been working a bit of part time this morning, so I've not even eaten yet. So I am very much looking forward to this. So we've got a lovely crab mix there. crab goes on like that now I did forget to bring a knife with me but luckily this avocado should be soft so that palette knife just about cuts through it okay and now all we do layer that avocado on there Just like that. And then, out this board slipping everywhere, press it down a bit. And we're gonna butter both sides of the outside of the bread. Flip it over.
So quite literally, all I'm doing, heating up that pan a little bit, and then I'm just gonna lightly toast each side of that, that sandwich, basically. And you're gonna get a nice toasted, toasted crab sandwich. Now, like I said, I haven't eaten today, so I'm absolutely starving. It's blistering hot now. Um, so I'm gonna chow this down, and then I'm gonna get out and go fishing. So that pan's nice and warm now. I've got my lovely sandwich there, all ready to go. So quite literally, press that down a little bit. And I'm just gonna keep the pan on low heat and toast that for about two minutes each side. Oh man, I'm really looking forward to this. I'm so hungry. Now, uh, yeah, yesterday I had to work. Um, I had to do a bit of overtime. So what I did was take the two crabs to work. I didn't actually have a pan big enough at home. So it was a good job I took them to work. Boiled them both up there, just a 10 minute boil. That's all they need. Leave them cool and then I put them in the fridge. Later that night, I picked both of them um, and got a fair amount of meat out of, out of each of them. So in the future, I will do another video where I actually film the whole cooking of the crab, boiling it and picking it. Um, it is pretty straightforward once you know what, you, what you're doing, really. So we should just be about ready to flip. And look at that. That is looking incredible already. Now I know this is just a toasty and obviously it's very, very simple, but I really recommend pan frying them. It's the best way to do them. Um, it's far better than putting bread in a toaster and then making your sandwich after that. You just butter both sides of the bread, put it on a, uh, a medium to light heat, put the toasty in, give it two minutes, two and a half minutes, flip it over, same again, and then you're done. So, here we are. A beautiful, fresh as you can get, crab and avocado toasty. Super easy, three, four minutes in a frying pan. Now, obviously you're not gonna win any Michelin stars with that, but simplicity is key, especially with fish and shellfish. Now, I can't wait to get tucked into this. But you can see, super crispy. That butter on the outside of the bread really, really makes it. Oh. It's so good. Spider crab really is beautiful. You get the nice sweet taste from it. Mmm. That was 100% worth the wait. Now, I just want to say a massive thanks to Jay. Obviously, if you've been, I don't know, living under a rock, never heard of Smash Fishing, go check his channel out. I'm sure you have, though. But a big thanks to him, first of all, for giving me the, uh, the extra spider crab. And second of all, he actually made a crab wheel for me. Um, and gave me, he actually made me two. But really unlucky, unfortunate thing was the other night when we were out, threw one of them out, went to retrieve it 10, 15 minutes later, and the uh, the rope has snapped on it, so it was at the bottom of the bottom of the sea. Um, I'll have to look into if there's any way of retrieving it, but that was really unfortunate. But I've still got the one wheel he gave me, so sometime in the future, when I have time, I'm gonna make a second one, because um, yeah, it's better with two. Now, I'm really not just saying this because I made it, but there really is no other way to make a toasty than pan frying it. It beats any other toasty, hands down. Well, sometimes the most simple things are the
the most tasty and that was amazing so i'm going to leave this video there i thoroughly enjoyed uh the the whole video really going out and getting some spiders off the off the breakwater chatting to jay it's always good going out with jay once again big thanks to him um, and i've thoroughly enjoyed the the crab toasty now i hope you like the video um, if you do please like consider subscribing if you're not already hopefully with this beautiful weather means uh, plenty of fishing opportunities over the next couple of weeks so once again thank you very much i'll see you on the next one